All right, so once you have your tank off, just prop it up like this. Uh, and then you can, you're gonna need a Torx T20 for this. And I'll put this over here so you can see it better. Uh, you got two here, that's for your cartridge filter. Uh, but you need to get this ring off. So it's just like on your gas tank, if I don't have the tool for it to get on there. So what you can do, just use a flathead screwdriver and a hammer get on these ridges here and then just tap it and that ri this uh, rim will start spinning just do it gently And you should be able to, there you go, that ring will come off there, set it in line. You're going to want to have a rag down here. This is kind of, I got gas on it the other day, so i just kind of using this as to get gas on, then I put it outside. So uh, take that ring off, set that on the ground somewhere on your bench, and then what you're going to do, be gentle, pull this out slowly, tip it. As you come out, if you tip it like this, you can hear fuel draining out. Keep coming. Fuel's still draining out. It's going to be all over. Put your finger over here. And there you go. That's your whole fuel tank and stuff. Good time to pull out your line here and inspect your, uh, your draw at the end here, the screen. Anyways, we'll set this aside. Clean it against something. Now we'll get our flathead screwdriver. Alright, so take this line right here. You can pull this sew ring off here. The other side, just make sure to put that back on. But take this line here and pull it on off like that. Then you're going to get a flathead screwdriver. There's three tabs around here to push on. And we're going to push on them and kind of pry up to get this disconnected. There's one, just be very gentle because you don't want to break this thing. And also unclip this hose from here so you can lift off your top. Just kind of get it underneath there. Push up. There's two. Third one's right underneath here. And then you can go ahead, pull up on your sending unit here. You're going to have to take these wires here, there's a little clip. Undo them. Should have done that before. There you go. Try not to pull on the wires, you don't want to pull that out. Lift up slowly. Try and remember where your wiring goes into the side here and to the hole to the right there. Pull it through there. There you go, you're off. That can only go in one way, so don't worry about that. All right, so now you're left with a bare canister. A needle nose here. Make sure they're clean. Get in on the side of your plastic here. Don't do that. You yank up, and you can see I got my sock there on there. Tip that over, you're gonna get gas all over. Now you can see your sock there, this one's dirty, nasty looking. Pop that off the bottom. Alright, so grab your new sock there. Grab your pump. And you can see how that tab there, you can only put it on one way. You can get start there and then just work it on there you go there's like a compression ring on there that'll tighten it on there and then you're on there so I just fold it up like the other one it was indexed that way folds up like into the side here you can go and 
drop it back down into your tank here and get the top on. We'll do that now. Alright, so once you're back on there, take your uh, top here, run your wiring back through. And then you slide it down into the tabs gently because this has to line up with the top of your fuel pump right here, this middle line. Push down. Make sure all your tabs are locked in. They all feel to be. Bring your tube here around, get it back on there. And there we are, back on, clamp it back in here. Bring your wiring around, connect it. There's two connectors, you can only go into the one, and it'll be the, I think, the, bot yeah, the bottom one. There you go, you're all assembled. Grab your green o-ring, put it back on here. All right, so we're all cleaned up. Check your, you can check your spring on the end and your uh, screen, make sure there's no crud in there. There isn't on mine. Start bringing it back in. It'll do its thing back there. Gently bring that tank back in, make sure all your pipes are on, wiring's connected. Double check everything. Your O rings on. Bring it in. Get it in there. Take your O ring again, or this tightening ring, I guess you call it. Make sure that's clean. You got the dots on it. Get her in line there. Start tightening her back up. Yes, you can make a tool for this, but for the amount I do of these, one a year, and I probably won't even change that sock filter again next year, I'll just do this next filter we're gonna do. This works just fine. All right, so uh, you can take uh, your screwdriver then and tighten this up, Start once it starts to get tense. As you can see, I don't know if there's a torque spec on that or not, I doubt it, it'd be pretty hard to torque, but uh, anyways, see that white line there? That was marked on mine when I pulled it apart, so I just lined it up there again. So uh, once you have that in, we'll take... Go get your Torx uh, T20 and you'll start loosening these off and we'll get to changing the other fuel filter. Alright, so start by removing these two. I already cracked them. Pull off that spacer washer there. Set them aside. And you just go ahead and give this a little bit of a twist and yank. Try not to yank on that nipple too much. Pull that out. You'll have an O-ring on there. Set that to the side. And you have this crush, this wave washer here. And then you have your uh, fuel filter, which won't want to come out because of the angle of this. Get her though without tipping the tank and letting the fuel run out. I'll try and pull this out of here. All right, so I ended up tipping up the tank and just banging on the tank and it fell out. So there's the old filters, kinda. I mean, they get this color when they, they are uh, used, but it's just not the nicest looking. So, 
grab your new filter, all you do, shove her in against there, make sure you put everything back in order, not that there's a lot, grab your wave washer here, put it against your canister housing there, take your fuel filter here, or your nozzle there, whatever you want to call that thing, as you can see, you can't put it on backwards. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist because I never oiled that o-ring. Make sure you grab your, you'll see that this has a flat side and some round it. Put it on there. Put your two torques back on there. Snug them up, get your wrench, get that done. So, anyways, I think that's about everything for uh, how to change both fuel filters on uh, a Rev XR Skidoo 1200. Should apply to the 900s, all that stuff. I, it's probably about the same for the two-stroke stuff. I'm not sure how much different it is, but it should be about the same as setup as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you have any more questions on anything or would like more videos about these sleds, give me a shout and we'll make some more. Hope you like it.